And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a quick look at a little game called The Crown War. Well, it looks like the kind of game you might see at Big Lots or something. That's the way it looks like to me. Uh, a game that comes with these really chunky coins that are in the game. And you'll be flipping these over to see who wins, kind of like flipping over cards to some degree. Might work for kids. Let's check it out. At the beginning of the game, you'll take all 60 coins and place them face up on the table. Each round of the game, all the players flip over a coin. So let's say there's four players, and they flip over these coins. Whoever plays the highest number wins all the coins and puts them face up in front of them. Aha! The five wins. Let's turn over. Oh no, there's two fives. They've tied. So when that happens, they both flip over another coin. Well, there you have it. The guy who got the two wins that round. There are some special coins that are included in the game. First of all, we have the beggar here, or bankruptcy. If you win this coin, uh, or if you play this coin, then the winner is going to get half the rest of your coins. If you play the prince, king, or queen, you will win the round automatically, except the king beats the queen, the queen beats the prince, and the queen can steal two coins from somebody else. The prince hat makes everybody else give two coins back to the middle of the table, and the king gets two coins from every other player. And then finally, there's the joker. He wins everything, wins all other coins, and he can switch his pile with somebody else. That's the game. You keep going till all the tokens are gone. Whoever has the most is the winner. These are fine coins. I like how they stack. They're thick. The things are imprinted in them on the one side, not the other side, which is a little weird. But it's not a big deal. My only complaint might be that it's not always easy at a glance to tell the difference between these coins. And also, you're going to have a hard time remembering what they do. I mean, they are different, but it's not, e it's not easily tellable. Then also, sticking them in here, you have to actually take them and carefully stack them all in like a Jenga thing to get them all inside. You will not fit anything inside this container. I don't normally like these plastic containers for games, but this one is pretty sturdy, so there's that. Not a game. Oh. Oh, you want more? Uh, it's not a game. You just turn over the, the coins and see who wins. There's no, there's no choices. I guess you choose which coin, um, but that doesn't matter. Uh, oh, if you're the queen, you pick who you steal two coins from. There's also a variant in the rules where you can take one coin at the beginning and choose one to play it. Oh, okay, and if you get a one, yay? That's ah, garbage. Even for kids, it's garbage. I don't like games where you literally make no choices. It's lazy design. It's not really fun. I want to make at least some choice. A game doesn't need to be uber complicated. But when this game makes Uno look like a masterpiece of strategy and tactics, that's problematic. This is LCR, essentially, again, with chips. Nice components can't mask the fact that this is just simply a waste of space. I'm Tom Vassell. There's nothing else to say. Dice Tower Judgment, not a game.